Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us as we learn the second half. We have a, a Thursday night, last day of the year marathon. And what could be better than to learn Tyra on the last day of the year? Remember we said that the best way to ask Hashem is not just to ask, but to give Him a reason why you should do it. So, like we say in the Haggadah, Kana Ben Shoyal, you ask for a son by Manishtana because you say, this is what I want to say, to answer Manishtana. So that's a reason to get a son. So I want life. I want good pranasa. I want to be undisturbed. I want to have perfect health. Why? Because I want to come to the daf every night. Rabbi Nisham said, oh, that's a good reason. You know, that's the reason why I created the world. Beratius, Beshul, Tyrish, and Icaratius. So we are holding two lines from the top of Lamed Gimel, Lamed Aleph. Amar Mar. Yochel Yehadrenu B'mamon. We said that maybe when it says Vadar to play Zakin, it means that you should revere him with money. Now don't get it don't get me wrong. There's a big Indian to give money to Tamid Chacham. That's a big Indian. It says when you give something to a Tamil Chacham, it's considered like Bikurim. It says that uh, to be Mahana Tamil Chacham from your Nechasim is a tremendous thing, but that's not what it means Vadar to play Zakin. Yachal Yad Renubamaban, I might think it means to revere him with money. Talmud Laimer, talk him by Darta. Ma Kima Sha'im Bachis Sarnkis, just like standing up for him doesn't involve any cost. Afhidr reverence is Sha'im Bachis Sarnkis. So the Gemara says, uh, but it's not true. Sometimes standing up could cost you a lot of money. Let's say you're, you're in the middle of, of stringing pearls. You were doing precision work, making holes in pearls, and you had to stand up, you lose the whole uh, uh, alignment, and it costs your work. We're going to do a back and forth here. This is a very interesting Akish. We go back and forth. First, we compare getting up to reference. Showing a person respect doesn't take, uh, doesn't, being respectful doesn't cost you time from work. So, also standing up is when it doesn't cost you your work. And then we go back, Makima that we've established, when it says Hidr, it doesn't mean that you have to give funds. Now since it says you do not have to stand up and interrupt your work, then if you're working for someone else, then you're not allowed to stand up. A craftsman that are paid by the hour, they're not allowed to stand up for scholars. Because since they don't have to, then they're not allowed to interrupt their work. They, they belong to their workers. You know, they, they always cite these Gemaras and they say the people that are being paid by hour and they're sitting by the computer and they're playing solitaire, right? You know, and they're, and they're they're playing Mario Brothers, and you know they're playing other other games. Uh, they're not allowed to do that. They can't ask their boss and say, "If I'm not busy at my desk for a moment, do you mind if I relax and play a game?" If the boss says yes, that's fine. But they have to ask. Says Gemara Veloy, "What tenan kol balayim nuyes oimed oimdim mipneim." All the Balayim Noyes, all workmen, stand up for those that bring the Bikurim, Vishayalim Bishlaimim, and greet them. Vaimim Lohem Achenu, our brothers, Anche Makam, 
Pliny, the people of Shnipashak, Bayachem Lishalem, come in peace. So you see, even though they're working, they stop to stand up for the people that are bringing the first fruits. So why should tell me that Chacham be different? Amar Rabbi Yechonon, no. Mipneyem oimden. They stand up for the Mivie Bikurim. Mipnei Talmidei Chachamim ain't oimden. But not for Talmidei Chacham. In other words, when for the mitzvah of Bikurim, it's a special situation that we stand up for the mitzvah of Bikurim, but not for Talmidei Chachamim in general. Amar Rabbi Yechonon, but Avin Boyu Re'ei Kama Chaviva Mitzvah B'Shaita. How precious is a mitzvah done in its time? Shari mipneim oimdem, when they're doing the mitzvah of Bikurim in its time, the season of the first fruit, we stand up. Mipnei talmidei chachamim ein oimdem. However, the Gemara says, Bikurim might be different, not because it's a mitzvah b'shaita, but because if we don't show them respect, then they might not come the next time. See, Bikurim is a very hard mitzvah. You have to come a long way to bring some fruit to the base of Migdash. So therefore, we give them a royal welcome to ensure as an incentive that they could come. And therefore, if we wouldn't stand up for them, they might not come next time. And that's what the Gemara says, with Dilma Shani Asim, by Bikurim, it might be different. The Imkain, if you don't stand up for them, Atem Achshilam, you're going to cause them to stumble and not come again next time. It's a big incentive. COVID is a big incentive. You know, there's two things that work magnificently. I go this entire week, I went to Slichus uh, at uh, 10 minutes to 1 at, uh, at uh, the home of Rabbi Yahu Mintz, who is the, uh, the CEO of Ura. And he has, he has like 30 people, 30 boys at 10 to 1. You know what his secret is? After the Slikas finishes at 125, he throws out plastic tablecloths and he serves them a banquet. There's Franks in blankets and wings and knishes and cakes and soda. You have to be young to be able to eat that food at that time of the night. But, and that's a big incentive. A big incentive. I remember a Bruvain once said it was a shul that was having a problem with a small minion Shabbos morning. So he says, the Rebetzin's Shalant. That's the answer. Rebetzin's Shalant. That's food is an incentive. And so is covered. Covered is an incentive. People like covered. So this covered. It's a, there's a question about whether to stand up for the chassan and kala. Is the chassan and kala, chassan daim and the melech is only after he gets married. Right? So one of the reasons that they, they say that the reshiva held not to stand up is because I, by the mevi'e bikurim, you stand up. So he says, dear, you stand up because of the next time. Here you don't want there to be a next time. <laughs> They'll be here next time. I teach my students mm-hmm. yeah. that when they when they want to when they want to enter the road, and they're in stops and someone lets them in. Yeah. I say you always go like this. Always yeah. show yeah. Because yeah. if you don't do that, the next time they're gonna say, you know something? Nobody cares. What do I bother? That's one reason. But the even bigger reason is is because it's a kiddush Hashem. It's a kiddush Hashem. The way people drive, they could either make a Kiddush Hashem or a Chilol Hashem. Some of the driving that I see here is absolutely deplorable. Ab- Some of the driving that I see here is absolutely deplorable. People don't stop at four-way stops. People turn right in in front of you. 
through it's, red lights. Go through red lights. It's the, the driving here. It's unfortunate the infrastructure was not made for, uh, you know, the times when the mothers and fathers have to pick up their children. They bring the children back to the babysitters. It just wasn't made for it. it just, it, there's no question that my own driving changed since I moved to Lakewood. I never turned into an intersection when I lived in Staten Island when the cars coming at me were so close. I never did. But here I have to. Because otherwise I won't get into the intersection. So I learned to turn in, I would say, 10 feet closer than I used to turn in. But I still wait a safe distance. There are many people that don't. There are many people that they drive like it's a video game. And it's a chila Hashem. Says the Gemara Vaita. Amar Mar, Yochel Yamoid Mipanav Mebeis Akisei or Mebeis Amerchatz. I might think you should stand up in the lavatory or in the bathhouse. Says the Gemara Vlai. For Rabbi Chia and Yosef Bei Maskusa, Rabbi Chia was sitting in the bathhouse. V'cholav Ozel Rabbi Shimon Bar Rabbi. And Rav Shimon Bar Rebbe passed him, and he didn't stand up. And Rav Shimon Bar Rebbe showed his displeasure. And he came and he told his father, I taught him two fifths of Sefer Tillim, and he didn't stand up for me. Have Yosef Bay Maskusa, they were sitting in the bathhouse. All the Ozil Rab Shimba Rebbe, Rab Shimba Rebbe came in, Veloikamikabe, and they didn't stand up. The Ikbid, the Osa Amale Lavu, and he told their father, Shne Shlishe Shlish, two thirds of a third. Uh, two thirds of a third, if you break a third into three ninths, so two thirds, right? If a third is three ninths, so two thirds of three ninths is two, th- two ninths. So I taught two ninths of Teres Kahanim, of the Medrash on Vayikra, Vale Amen Mepanai. Vamalai, so he said to him, Shema Behen Yoyshev Umahara. Well, Bidanem Lekam Schaz, that maybe they were thinking of the learning. But that shows, Taima Behen Yoyshev Umahara, only if they were thinking of learning. Holav Hachi Eloi, but if they weren't, they should have st- stood up. I you said you don't st- you don't show covered in a bathhouse, says the Gemara, like Kasha Abate Gavoy. One is in the outer place where everybody is dressed, Habate Brai, where people are undressed. Where people are undressed, that's not a place to give covered. Where people are dressed, you you should give covered. And Akinami Mistava, the Amarabba Babachana Rabbi Yachlin, the Khomaka Mutalahara, Kutzma Besa Kutsu Besa Kisa. You're allowed to think Torah everywhere except for the bathhouse and the lavatory. Since he said maybe they were thinking in Torah's Kahanim, it obviously is not talking about where the people are naked. We are not allowed to think Torah. It's talking about outside. So he says, that's not a raya. Because he said maybe they're thinking they can't help it. Some people are so involved in Torah that they can't shut their mind. Dilma lo'un seishani. They can't help it. And so people, there are people that have problems sleeping. They have problems sleeping because they can't turn off their mind. They're always, they're always thinking. They can't turn off their mind. Yochel Yatsim Einov Kemishalay I might think that he could close his eyes like he doesn't see. So the Gemara says, if the Talmud Chacham is already in his Dalet Amis and he closes his eyes to fake it. So then he's a Russia. Ought to be a Shia Askina? He says, well, no. I might think if you don't want to stand up the person, you could close your eyes before he comes into the Dalet Amis. Eliyachal Yatsam Einav Mikame Delimtiyeh Zman Kiyuva. 
that you close your eyes when he's six amas away. So that when he's in your four amas, you never became chayiv. The chimot is man chayuva. You can't see him that you should stand up. Hashem will know what you did. That you went to circumvent a mitzvah and Hashem will not be pleased with that. Tana, what is a standing up that shows respect? That's when the person is within your four cubits. Between six and eight feet. It's not your primary rabbi. But if he's your primary rabbi, as soon as you see him, you should stand up. I remember that when I was in Camp Westmount, this is going back at least 45 years. Probably more. So I was then... Wow. 50 years ago, half a century ago, I was 15, half a century ago, I remember that we were sitting in Shear learning from Rabbi Rosenberg, he's not alive, Zichron Lavracha, and we saw out the window the Alter Rebetzin walking, and everybody stood up. Ramesh's Rebetzin, Aishas Chavar Kechavar, everybody stood up. When he saw the ears of the donkey of Rabbi Yaisid, Asi Avikon. Abaya Averachiv Khamra. Abaya was riding a donkey, the Kamaske Aguda de Narasagya. And he was riding along the bank of Narasagya. Yosef Ramishash Rabbonan be Idakis. Ramishash and Rabbonan was sitting. On the other side, for like come on, come and he didn't stand up for them, and they didn't stand up for him. Aren't I your primary rabbi? Now, it's not that Abaya was looking for the. It, 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 it's it's not like uh, Abaya was looking for the covet, but we're going to see on Ahmed Bey's that not to give covet is a very dangerous thing. And he, he didn't want his Talmidim to get into trouble. Amrule, they said, Lava Daitin. We didn't realize. We were Angaton in our learning, and we didn't see a Rebbe. Rabbi Shimon Lazarim and Manayin Lazakin Shiloyatriach. How do we know that a Zakin shouldn't trouble people to get up? He sh- if he could take a circuitous route that they shouldn't have to stand up, he should do that. Talmud Laimer, Zakin Viereza. That the Zakin also should have Yira. Shouldn't. Hashem should see that he's not looking for his own honor. Amar Abaya Nakatinon, we have a tradition, the Makif Choye, that if you take a circuitous route, it'll bring you life. And the Mephoshim say, because it says, it says, Zokin Vyoresa, and Yira, it says, Yira Hashem Toysef Yomim. Abaya Makif, Abaya went a circuitous route, Reb Zera Makif, Reb Zera went a circuitous route. Ravina Avi Yosef came to Reb Yemi Medifti. Reb Yemi was sitting before Reb Yemi Medifti. Cholofahu Gavra Kamei. A man passed by. V'loi michsei reisha. And he didn't cover his head. Now when you pass rabbis, you have to have respect. You have to cover your head. Amar kama chotzefahu gavra. How brazen is this person? So he's so, so, Rabbi Yirmiya said, Amalei, Rabbi Yirmiya was, was Danim Lukafskos. Dilma Mamasa Mechasya Ninu. Maybe he comes from Masa Mechasya, the Gisa Barabon. There's so many rabbis there that they're already very familiar with Rabbonim. And that's why he didn't have the Hergish. Isi Ben Yehuda, I'm a Mibnei Seva, Tokim, he holds, Vafilu Kol Seva Mamashma. Any old man. We stand up for old age. An old person has a lot of experience. He would even stand up for goyish old people. 
how many uh, happenings and distresses and how many wonders did he see in his lifetime? A person that survives a long time, an old man, he saw a lot in his life. Um, Rather make him like Kai. Rather wouldn't stand up, but hinder of it, Lou. He would show a little respect. He would pick himself up a little bit. Abaya Yov Yodalisabi. Abaya would support an old man. If an old man is walking and he needed a hand, he would give him his hand. Rava Mishadish Luke. Rava wouldn't do it himself, but he would send a messenger. Ravnachm Mishadu Guzoi. Ravnachm would send some of his uh, officers, uh, but he didn't do it himself because of the covet of his tyra. Amr, you love Torah. If not for my Torah, kama nachman ba'aba ika b'shuka. There would be a lot of nachman ba'abas. So I represent kavod ha'Torah. I can't be cavalier with kavod ha'Torah. Amr, Rav Ivo, Amr, Rav Yanai. Rav Ivo says in the name of Rav Yanai, "Ain Talmud Chacham Rashi Lamad Mipnei Rabbi." A Talmud Chacham shouldn't stand up for his Rebbe. El Shachris Varvus only twice a day. In the morning and the night. He says twice a day. Shema in the morning and the afternoon. Others say it means Shema and Mincha. Ma'av already is a Rishos. So he shouldn't stand up more than he stands up for Hashem. How do you know that a Zakin shouldn't trouble people to stand up? But if it's only two times, why shouldn't you trouble them? It must be all the time. It's saying don't pass by them a hundred times a day. I remember when we went... <laughs> So we went to the Lake House Hotel many years ago. Uh, this, is, this is even more than 50 years ago. We went to the Lake House Hotel and uh, it was a Moshim Zakanum. And the average age over there was 75, 80. We were sitting in the sukkah and I told my father, Allah Vashalom, I want to sit facing the wall. So he said, why? So he said, you know, I don't want to be a jack-in-the-box. Everybody here is like 80 years old. I'm going to have to be standing up the whole time. So they think, I won't be able to eat. And he said, I want to sit and face the world. So if you have to stand up all the time, so then it says, it makes sense that the zakin shouldn't be matriach. But v'yam et shachris v'arvis it's only two times, amay loy nitrach, chiyuvu, el alav kulayuma. Says one loy, loy lem shakras varvis bilvad. It's in the morning and the night. Vafilu haki. Even so, if you don't have to trouble a whole room to get up, kama de efshale loy nitrav. You shouldn't trouble. Amar Rabbi Lazer, as we learned to be mekayim the mitzvah v'dibar tabam. Last it's nachas ruach liyotzreinu. We're also learning to make it easy on ourselves. So Rosh Hashanah, we don't have to learn three blat. Um Amar Rabbi Lazar called Talmud Chacham she'ain oimid mifnei rabbi a Talmud Chacham that doesn't stand up for his rabbi Nikra Russia. here as I told you this is why the sages were troubled it's a terrible thing not to show Kovod and by the way this is the Gemara that I always tell people to look at when they don't understand why by Svira 24,000 Talmidei Chachamim died. I mean, what could be Azoi Shlecht? Says the Gemara called Talmud Chacham Shein Aymid Mipnei Rabbi. You don't stand up and give cover to Torah, Nikra Russia. You're called wicked. The Ainu Marach Yamim, you don't live long. The Talmudai Mishtak, and you forget your learning. Shenema V'Tovlo Yiyel Rasha, it won't be good for the wicked person. 
and he won't live long. Rather, Kitzel will be like a shadow. Asher ain't then. Why? Asher ain't then. Uyare milafnei alikim, because he doesn't fear God. Now, what does it mean? He doesn't fear God. I don't know what the fear that it's talking about. Because it says v'yoreisa, it's talking about that. And by the way, we see that he's called a Russia. It says, How do we know? Forget his learning. Because it says, And learning is taif. And those that are my Talmudim for many years know that I always say that Lekach Taiv is Bigmatria Dafayaymi. Now, Says the Gemara, but who says that this Moira is referring to standing up? Vema Moras Ribis, because it says by not taking Ribis, it also says the Eraser Melikacha. And Omaras Mishkos, when it says you should have a hidden Sedek, the good weights, fair weights, it also says the Eraser. So maybe it's referring to that. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Lazel, Pnei Pnei Gomar. He doesn't only learn out from the Lushan of Moira. But it also says, Asher einenu yorei milifnei. So it says, Pnei. And here it says, Hadar uh, to Pnei Zakein. So you learn out that it's talking about honor. Now, Ibnoi Ibayilahu. Bnoi Vu Rabbi. Let's say, let's say he's a son. But it's he's the father's rebbe. He teaches the father. Does he does does he does he stand up for the father? But he's the father's rebbe. So benoi v'hu rabbi ma'ulamud mipneyav. Does he stand up for his father? Tajma the amalei shmuel rebbe Yehuda shinina. Sharp one, kum mikame avuk. Although you teach your father, stand up for your father. Says Gemara, that's different. Because not only was uh, Rav Yehuda's father his father, but he was also a great tzaddik. He was a man of piety. Shani Rav Yecheskel, the Balmais in Hava. He was a man of good deeds. A tzaddik. Even Shmuel, who was a good ladder, also stood up for him. Says Gemara, then Elamai Kamale. What did he mean when he said you should stand up for your father? Haki Kamale. Zimnin de Osi Meachurai. Sometimes your father passes behind me. Even in my presence, you should stand up for your father. Come at me, Kame. And don't be concerned about my honor. Normally, you're not allowed to give respect to somebody else in the presence of your Rebbe. But your father, who was a big tzaddik, you could stand up for him even in my presence. Now, if let's say the son is the father's Rebbe, can the father stand up for his son? Interesting situation. His son, but he's his rabbi. Does the father stand up for his son? I, it's not proper that I should stand up for my son. Only because he's from the household of the Nazi, that's why I stand up for him. Time of the Anor Rabbe, that's because I am his Rebbe. Ha il Rabbi, but if he would be my Rebbe, kaim na mekame. So the Gemara says no. Ha ki kama, ani eini kedai laman mipnei bni. It's not proper that I should stand up for my son vafilu Rabbi, even if he would be my Rebbe. Da Anor Avu, I'm his father. 
Elamishum Kvoid Beis Nasi, but because of the honor of the household of the Nasi, I stand up for him. <coughs> now is an interesting shayla. This is an interesting shayla. What's the din if Berish is riding a horse? Does he have to stand up for his Rebbe? Do we say we go bust of the horse and the horse is moving? When you're moving, you don't have to stand up. You only have to stand up when you're stationary. Or do we go bust of Berish? Berish is sitting. He's not doing anything. So the Gemara closed the Shiloh. Let's see it inside. Ibailo, Rachav Kimahalach dummy, is riding a horse like he's moving. And when he's moving, uh, <coughs> no, the other way around. Sorry. You see, it's so easy to make the mistake in a shot. You'll, ex- you'll excuse me. I just said the wrong shot. I think there might be somebody that learns that way, but that's not how Rashi learns. Rashi says the Rebbe is riding. Now, if the Rebbe is walking, then you have to stand up for him. But if the Rebbe is considered sitting, when your Rebbe is sitting, you don't have to stand up for him. So here the Rebbe is riding on a horse. Right? The Rebbe is riding... You have, you have Rebruvain is riding a horse. So do you have to stand up for him? So if it's considered like he's passing by, you have to stand up for him. But if it's considered like he's sitting, because he's sitting, so then you don't have to stand up for him. So let's see the Gemara inside. Ibailo. I almost, almost taught you wrong shot. Ibailo. Rachov kemehalach dami, ayloi. Amar abaya tajma'a. Now here we have to know that a mitzayra or a leprous stone is only mitame when it's sitting. Because it says uh, uh A mitzayra, interesting enough, enough mitzayra is like a mace, it's mitame ba'ayo. So if mitzayra is sitting under a tree, and Berish walks under the tree, he becomes Tame. So, says the Gemara, Tajma, Tame, Yoishiv, Takasa, Elon, if Chatzkel is a Metzairah, and he's sitting under the tree, the Tahar, I made, and Gedalia is standing, makes no difference if Gedalia is standing or sitting, but he's under the tree, Tame, Tame, I made, Takasa, Elon, if Chatzkel the Mitzvah is standing under the tree, the Tahar Yoshev, and Gedalia is sitting, Tahar, because when the Mitzvah is standing, he, he doesn't convey to Messiah. But Vim Yoshev Atome, but if Chatzkel sits down, then Atar Tome, then Gedalia becomes Tome. The Chain Be'even Amenugas, and the same thing is true with a leprous stone. If there's an, a leprous stone, and and Chatzkel is carrying it under the tree, and Gedalia is sitting, Gedalia doesn't become tar. But when the one who's carrying the leprous stone sits down, then uh, Gedalia is tummy. So you see that if he's standing, we don't view the stone to be as if it's sitting. Even though Chatzkel is carrying it, and it's stationary, so we go bus at the one that's carrying it. So here also we go bus at the animal. And therefore if Rebruven is riding the animal, it's considered like he's walking. And you have to stand up. That when you're riding, it's considered as if you're walking. It's not considered that you're stationary. And therefore, if the Rebbe is riding, you have to stand up for him. Shmami no. Ibailu. Mao lamo in mibnei sefer Torah. Do you have to stand up for a sefer Torah? Now, we take it for granted nowadays that you have to stand up for a sefer Torah. But that wasn't simple to them. 
Rab Chilkia, Rab Simon, Rab Laza, Imre, Kalvachimer. It's a Kalvachimer. If we stand up even for those that learn the Torah, Mipanel, like Kalshre, surely we have to stand up for the Torah itself. Rabbi Loi, Rabbi Yaakov, Bazav, they have a Yosve. Rabbi Loi and Rabbi Yaakov, Bazav, they were sitting. Khalifa Ozu, Rabbi Shimon, Ba'aba. Rabbi Shimon Ba Abba passed by them. Now Rabbi Loi and Rabbi Yaakov Azabdi were learning. And yet Rabbi Shimon Ba Abba passed by and they stood up for him. The Kamu Mikame. So here Rabbi Shimon Ba Abba told him there's two reasons why you shouldn't have stood up for me. Amalu Chada, first of all, the Atun Chakime, you are a wise man. I'm less. I'm just a Chover. That's less than a Chach. The Oid, and from us, since you're learning, that trumps standing up. Because Klum Taira, I met his Mipnei like that. You're, you're involved in Taira. You shouldn't stop your learning to stand up. Savalak Rabbi Lazar, Dam Rabbi Lazar, Ein Tamachachem, Rasha Ilamad Mipnei Rabbi, a Tamachachem should not stand up for his Rabbi, Bishosha Isaac B'Taira. Because since he's learning Taira, he shouldn't interrupt this Taira to give covet a Taira. However, layet alo abaya. Abaya cursed that. Because remember what like we said, that covet a Taira is even greater than learning Taira. Vibitai achrei Moshe, and they looked after Moshe ad bo ha'ohala, until he got to the tent. Rabami Rabbi Yitzhak Nafka, chadam al-gnai. Now here the Gemara doesn't even say what the Gnai is. It's it's so it's so unpleasant. The Chadam Alishvach. And one says they looked after Moshe until he got to the tent in 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 praise. Mandam alignai kidisa. This is very unusual. Kidisa, like it's taught elsewhere. And Raji says over here, Mishum de Dover Meguna, Lairatzal of Farsima. It didn't, I didn't even want to say it outright because it's so disgusting. Byron Mufurish Bemedrish Rebbe Tanchuma, it says they said, look, look how fat his thighs are. Look how robust his neck is. That's all from our money. He became rich on us. This is a, a, a lesson that. Uh, when it comes to Kavad HaTayri, the Yetzirah is so ferocious, they could even find things, uh, far-fetched things that they thought was wrong about Moshe Rabbeinu. <laughs> That's the Pshat Lignai. What's the Pshat? V'chad Amal L'Shvach, Shvaman Yom L'Shvach, Amal Chizkiya, Amal Chanina, B'Raid Rabavo, Amal Rabavo, Amal Rabavdim, the Men Chaifa, Chacham over a regular sage that passes by, I made him the fun of Dalad Amos. You stand up within, when he comes in your four Amos, the cave and Shavu Dalad Amos, when he leaves your four Amos, Yoshev, you sit down. Of Bezdin over, if the head of the Bezdin, that's more, I made him the fun of Melayenov, you stand when he comes within your eye shot. The came and Shavu Dalamas, and when he passes out of your four Amas, Yoshev. Nasi Iver, I made Melafan of Melayenov. You stand up when, when, as soon as you see him, Veina Yoshev, and you don't sit down until he's out of your Aisha. Akshi Yoshev in Mekayma, until or until he gets to his place. Like it says, until Moshe Rab, Rabbeinu reached the tent. Shinema Vibito Achre Moshe, at Boa until he went into the tent and sat down. Only then. Did they sit down? Rabbi Sai, it's a wonderful piece of work. I want to take this moment now to talk to the wide island. To, to, this is to all my viewers on TorahAnytime.com, all my listeners on Kalalashin, all my viewers on YouTube, on Facebook, subscribers, Zoomers, everybody here, of course. And I want to say that we're one big family. And as one big family, we should daven for each other. Sometime, sometime during Rosh Hashanah, have in mind for all my com comrades at Zoom Daf, 
all my friends on Torah anytime that come on Kalalosh. It's a very big thing. Have each other. That's what it means being a good friend. I know that, uh, for example, this week I went to the Rimnitzer Rebbe with my what Rebbetzin, we davened there, and I had in mind, I had in mind all my Zoomers, all the people in my Aguda, all the people in good of Staten Island, all my subscribers, I had in mind, it doesn't take a very long time, it's a big thing, it's a power of a tzibur. Also, we should tell the Rabbi Nishalayim, Rabbi Nishalayim, you know, this year, we're going to finish Kedush, we're going to learn Bava Kama, Bava Metzia. I'm going to learn the difficult prokim of Ezer Neshech and Azov. It's a big schus. We should tell them our plans. The Bani Shalom will say, oh, you know, you know, i have taken that in count. I take head checks. You know? It's a big thing. I want to thank all of you for being such wonderful Talmidim, every one of you, and I wish everybody a kasiva v'chasima taiva umasuka. Tonight, last night, I forgot the Mishnayimus. I came back on. Tonight, I already did the Mishnayimus. We started Megillah. It's already on YouTube. It's already on Facebook. It's already on Kalalashin. It's already on TorahAnytime.com. Uh, so, I wish everybody a good yantiv. Uh, the uh, it is, it, 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 the, the Rosh Hashanah shir is available already uh, on YouTube and other shirim on Avinu Malkeinu, other interesting shirim. And uh, also, Rabbi Isai, I will yet give tomorrow's Mishni Yemis, tomorrow, and also the shir for the Shabbos table. I didn't do that yet. Uh, have a wonderful Yom Tov, everybody. Amen. What time is the daf going to be on? I guess on Sunday night. Oh, yeah. What time is daf on Sunday night? Nine thirty, right? Nine thirty. Nine thirty daf Sunday night. Nine thirty. Two block, not three block. Nine thirty daf Matzayamtiv. That's erev Sum Gedalia, and on Sum Gedalia, uh, tell everybody that on Sum Gedalia. Daf is at 9 o'clock.